girlfriends and I I do remember my single life from my teenage years well, I, I don't know if it's the craziest thing I've done for love but I I've actually spied on my husband quite the way that my character in the movie does and jumps in a trash can at the time we were just boyfriend and girlfriend but I just felt like something didn't sound right on the phone so I went to his house I was climbing through the bushes looking through the windows and then I got caught his friends saw me he came out, he's like, it's poker night, babe. You want to come in? Look, look in all the closets. Look in the bathrooms. I was humiliated, but I was happy I was wrong. <laughs> it's not a man I need. It's a husband or a potential husband in a month. Why don't you marry Gail? If she goes a week without waxing her mustache, they'll think it's Steve Harvey. Look, it's not like she's got enough time to meet somebody new, so why not revisit somebody else? For the next few weeks, any of your exes that flies anywhere at any time, we're going to know. That's right. Thank you. You know, you just take it one day at a time and you just try to juggle those balls in your air and hope they don't fall. But you also put what's most important first, and that's my husband and my baby. Going into people's homes, actually. We go into people's homes, we sit with, eat with them, tuck the kids in, make sure that they familiarize themselves with us on a personal level so that they have a, a personal investment in watching a movie. <laughs> exactly. So the more castmates you have, the better, because obviously you have to cover all the different states. It's, it's true grassroots. That's what it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna go home to my own house tonight, and and tuck my kids in, and uh, I'll be here for a minute. So I'm glad it's 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 that time. You know, it's always exciting to have the premiere, and uh, uh, you know, a long time of hard work has come to a you know crescendo, if you will. When you find love, and you will, don't ever let it go. I don't like the word, I don't like the word beefcake, no, I don't like the word beefcake, maybe cheese plate. To be right there one-on-one -on -one at my, just like, at my, like, you right here, I'm a sponge, I'm gonna soak this all up. And she's, uh, uh, needless to say, amazingly attractive and a uh, sweet spirit too. Crockett, how are you? <laughs> and, and I David. hope everyone enjoys the movie so he can do it again with me. <laughs> Thank you, David. David. Uh, it's low stress. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's challenging, but but always uh, you know there's always there's always a laugh at, at the end of the sentence. So what can be better than that? <laughs> Yeah, that was really fun. Uh, working with Paul and Jill Scott is with most of my stuff, and um, so fun to just be one of the girls, I have to say, and uh, and just dish. You've got 30 days and 30,000 miles. I want you to have these cranberry flavored for the holidays. I mean, you know, I didn't get like a manicure or anything, although I thought about it, um, but I bite my nails too much, I think, for that to last. But. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I, I you know, I, I stopped having to posture. Not that I posture too tough anyways, but but I could just kinda relax. Because I was wrong. The bad news was I got caught when I was very sure. You look wonderful. Thank, Thank you very much. much.